National Guacamole Day is a great time to try different ways to enjoy guac and not just as a dip. So here to give us some ideas is registered dietitian Veronica Rouse. And Veronica, uh, I said before, I've uh, pretty much just started liking guac almost just like four years ago. And I'm like in my 50s, it's amazing. I should have done it earlier. But there's some other great ways to enjoy it besides just a dip, am I right? Absolutely, yes. Thanks for having me. I'm thrilled to be here for a National Guacamole Day. And I'll show you how to make guacamole and you're right. It's fantastic to be served with salsa and corn chips for football Sunday, but it's really easy to add to some of these regular dishes to kind of elevate it, make it a little bit more fancier and tastier. Yeah. All right. Before you get uh, making the guac, let's talk about the importance and how healthy, healthy guacamole is. Yes, absolutely. Uh, guacamole is very heart healthy. Uh, it's heart healthy because it's full of something called unsaturated fats. And having these types of fats can actually help lower our cholesterol levels. It's also full of fiber, a specific type of fiber called soluble fiber that also lowers cholesterol and rich in a mineral called potassium, which can lower our blood pressure. Nice. Okay, I got to ask you, uh, how much guac have you made in your life? Uh, have you made a lot? Of, a lot? I, yes, we make it almost weekly. It, it's a popular thing to have in our household. Okay, because I'm going to put your guac to the test. We're going to have you oh. make some for us. We're going to see because this is this is the different. This is Canadian guac. Everybody has to realize she's in Canada, so this is a lot different yes. than American guac. Okay, so let's talk. Let's get let's into see. it. Let's see. Let's make a song. Exactly. Exactly. So I'm starting here with some avocado. I have two diced avocado. Is that how you start with your guacamole? Yes, and scooping it out there. Good. And, all right. Yep, exactly. Just dice it, scoop it out, and then I'm adding some red onion, about a quarter of a cup of diced red onion. Nice. All right. Next comes the cherry tomatoes. You can half these and just pour in about a half a cup, I'd say. Oh, and I... then comes the flavor. So that is anything you want. I have cilantro here, but you could also do garlic, cumin. Um, whatever you like, whatever your uh, guests like as well, I think is important. And then finally, we top it off with some type of an acid. I have some lime juice here, or you could use some apple cider vinegar as well. Uh, we just top it up to make sure that the guac doesn't brown and it looks nice and fresh. Yeah, I like that. All right, and then? And then all you need is a fork. You don't even need a potato masher or anything fancy. And you just, yeah, mash it up. You can use do it as chunky or smooth as you like and it comes together so quickly and i just love all the colors and the different uh, nutrients that belong to each of those colors as well i like that okay that's going there that's going good but let's talk about using yeah. it in different ways than just using it as a dip because that's one thing that we all, we all know just like okay grab the chips there you go but you got some great ideas there for us don't you you got it. So the first one up here is a chicken breast. So it's a stuffed chicken breast. And I know that most of us know how to make chicken. Um, you just bake it in the oven. This one's at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 to 40 minutes. And all you have to do is slice the chicken breast in half, stuff it with the guacamole we just made. And you saw how simple and easy that was. And it turns out like a nice fancy dish you could serve at, uh, for guests. Oh my goodness, Veronica, I literally was just looking at this because I was seeing how they actually, before you cook the chicken breast, they actually make the slit and like, I think they put tinfoil or something in there to leave it so it cooked and it was open and then they went and put the, the guacamole, oh my goodness, this is a dish I got to try. So Yes, it's so easy and so delicious. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, what's the next one you have for us? And then the next one is a, a nice appetizer here. So it's guacamole deviled eggs. So say that people are coming over for uh, a dinner that you're having your stuffed guacamole chicken breast, then you can serve your deviled eggs. And as traditionally, when you make deviled eggs, you hard boil the eggs, then you scoop out the yolk and you put back the yolk with some mayonnaise. But instead of that, we're just gonna remove the yolk totally, add the guacamole that we just made. And then top, I just topped it with one little um, herb of cilantro and it looks really, really pretty, nice and fresh. Oh my goodness. All right. you got I. That one I gotta try, because I was wondering what you did with the yolk, if you mixed it back in there, but you just take it out yeah, completely. Yeah, exactly. Listen. Yeah, we don't need it. Veronica, I'm telling you, this is what we love, especially with Guacamole Day, making the different little things you do, especially during the games. I love it. So where can people find out more about uh, these great recipes and everything we've talked about? 
Yeah, for sure. You can follow me on Instagram at The Heart Dietitian or check out my website at theheartdietitian.com and I'll have all these recipes on there for you to check out. There's Ronka, thank you very much. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Love it, love it. Got it. Guac, guys. Guac day. Woo! <laughs>